Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some Ready or Not. It is me, Zeus. Uh, just wanted to cover a few subjects today, uh, the first of which being the Steam Summer Sale. It'll be going on until Wednesday. Uh, this video is going to get uploaded Monday, so you guys have, well, I guess until Wednesday to make suggestions, or I, I don't really want to... I don't really want to go buy in games, you know, when they're not on sale. I'd rather take the easy route and all that good stuff. So, while games is cheap, please do mention something. I'd appreciate the hell out of it. Um, yeah, that was that was just a small thing. Uh, I was interested in the Call of Duties, so like Modern Warfare 2019 and 2022. Fuck you. If you guys wanted to see the campaigns of those, let me know. I wouldn't really play the multiplayer all that much. Um, it kind of doesn't really fit the, like, aesthetic, I guess the word would be, for the channel, where I'm not much like a multiplayer, like a competitive kind of stuff. I tried that with Rainbow, like some Rainbow clips, but uh, I feel like since I strayed away from that, like, almost six months ago, um, it doesn't really fit the channel too much, so. Yeah. Uh, that aside, though, uh, something else I wanted to mention as pertaining to Ready or Not. Oh, Hi is uh, mods. There has not been any, no no offense to anybody who's made mods, but there hasn't really been any like noteworthy like mods that I can cover. No like maps and stuff like that. I mean, as of late, it's just been a lot of like weapon skins and stuff. And uh, I don't know if those are worth like full video cover. Like, whoa, dude, this gun, yo, check this gun out in uh, Ready or Not, bro. It's It looks crazy good. It looks crazy cool. I just don't think that really makes for a uh, a good video, but that's just me personally. Uh, if you guys would want to see that, shoot, let me know. You know, if you wanted to see all the mods, whether they're like a map or just something minuscule, just yeah, let me know about that kind of stuff. Um, I probably always will play this game, but uh, while we're on the subject, kind of halfway of the Steam Summer Sale. I may or may not have already gotten a, a few games that you guys may or may not be seeing in the near future. You know, not, not to not to spoil anything, but Ow. what is this fucking Iron Man? Hold on, come here, motherfucker! Holy shit! Oh, Iron Man on some hard times, bro. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I got a couple of games, uh, but that's yeah, that's kind of that's kind of it as far as that I wanted to mention. Um, something else. This is kind of a little, a little, you know, like a a little, a little smooch, a little, a little peck on the cheek, if you would. Uh, thank you guys for all the support you've been showing the Hunt for Anton Yarov series, the the one that I made after I watched Extraction Two, and I was like, yo, I got copy that dude. I gotta I'll write that down. Write that down. The the the, the meme with Patrick and and Spon yeah, uh, that was me. Um, I've just been kind of trying to figure how I can tie everything into the Ready or Not universe, and it's been kind of fun, honestly, to kind of see how I can tie the maps uh, together in my own way. There there is a way that they're all linked. You know, some of them are all the same like groups that do stuff. So think the um. The nightclub and the hotel are both from the separatist, the, the terror group, the the left hand or whatever the the red the red hand or whatever it is. I can't can't actually remember at this point in time, but um, yeah, they're the, the terror group from Yemen. I swear I just heard a voice to my right. That guy just got fucking rocked. I'm probably gonna get shot in the back. I can smell it. Three, two. Let me around the corner. Oh, I should have definitely brought hollow point rounds. Thinking about it, I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm gonna stop predicting what's about to happen and just uh, chat with you guys for a bit. So, mods as far as maps go for ready or not have been kind of dry lately. Later, Lee. So I might just go revisit some of the older maps that I've played, because I noticed, in particular, the that guy did not sound how he looked. Uh, 
But I noticed in particular the Winderly Hills, or excuse me, the Winderly Hills, the um, Olympus Theater had a update available while I was looking through maps the other day. I noticed it was like, yeah, update available. I was like, hey, yo, let me let me check that out. You know, let me, let me peep that. I've already covered that map before. Let's see how it looks now. I did not kill that guy. Hold on, pause. Okay, I did. I was like, yo. Anyway, uh, yeah, I noticed an update while I was looking for maps. I was here. Anyway, uh, Hunt for Anton Yarov. Uh, you guys have been showing a ton of support to that series lately, and I appreciate the hell out of it. That's behind me, but there's also somebody out here because he shot the... That's a drywall. These bullets are going straight through that in real life, dude. I'm returning this game. I'm refunding this game. For their egregious attention to detail. That would have that would never have happened. <laughs> no, uh, kidding aside. Um, sorry, I'm just kind of getting distracted, like playing the game and chatting, chatting with you guys. It's, uh, I'm just getting distracted, you know, bumping into gunfights and all that. Um. Also, this map just takes forever, dude. This is something that I've I've thought would be kind of strange about the full release of the game. Is how how are they gonna make this game like function? Uh, as far as if they were to make a story, okay, I had to do dick, did it? Somebody behind me. Fuck. I was fighting my demons there for a second when all of a sudden there was nobody where I was being shot from. I was like, hey, yo. Anyway, though, yeah, this uh, that's something I've been thinking about as far as the uh, the campaign goes, like for this game. How, how are they going to do that without making these levels too uh, like tedious? Because assuming that you can die, right, you wouldn't want to have it be too long and then it just kind of becomes a slog. It's no longer a game. It's just like, oh, here we go. You know, a four hour endeavor, you know, a fucking odyssey to, to go clear this level. But um, you also don't want it to be too short because then it's just it, it turns into Sullivan Slope. Where I know I haven't touched that map in forever, but it's because it takes like four minutes and 58 seconds to... <laughs> to get through it and defuse both of the traps that you encounter on your way to the two guys. You, you barely even get to notice their house. It's just too quick. I don't get a chance to chat with you guys. There's nothing I could really mention. I guess if I ever have short videos, which I've had a few in the past, and I think one of them I did play on Solomon Slope to just kind of, you know, bullshit with you guys for a second and let you know about some channel updates and all, but... Uh, Pop this guy really quick. Hold on. Haruken. Why'd that guy grab his knee? Because I shot him in the chest. What a what a weirdo. Here you. There's one behind the kitchen. I hear him. He's back here. I think I just heard him run into the front door. I have no idea what I heard. I'm sorry. I'm actually going crazy. It's the voices in my head. It, it really was just the voices, wasn't it? I'm going to run all the way back around to the front. I'm like 95% confident there's still going to be somebody hidden somewhere. You know, uh, it just kind of tends to be the way these things go. Um, or at least this map in particular. If there is, I'm just going to end the video. I kind of I covered everything I wanted to cover, and now I'm just kind of awkwardly rambling. I didn't want to just, you know, mid middle of the, the, the level. Just... Middle of the level, just quit playing. But 
yeah. If I get back to the front door and I haven't found anybody, I'll just kind of call the video. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry if it was a little awkward and me kind of umming and uhing and rambling. Okay, we're done. Uh, I was the voice. Yo, it was straight up the voices then. That's wild. Uh, anyway, if you guys like this kind of content, please subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And I also appreciate you guys making it to the end of the video. Usually I kind of don't have anything to talk about like by this point. So um, it means a lot to me. And that floating hill right there, as you guys can clearly see that that hill is floating that's not a trailer that's just like a bug it's the same color as the skybox but i hope you guys have a great rest of your day you guys take it easy uh, peace out